Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so know your worth. Now, you may think, who is he to sit there saying that? But you know what? I tell you and I give this information from my own life experience. Know your worth because you know what? The moment you don't know your worth, life becomes very, very difficult. Life becomes very stressful. And most of the time, those type of things, you are kind of festering in it yourself. Know your worth. Now, I've been in a bit of a bit of a hole for quite some time thinking about this. I won't go into why, but it stems around not knowing your worth. And of course, around work, we spend most of our time in this life at work, trying to build a lifestyle for ourselves, trying to build a life. And of course, trying to achieve all those great things and take work away. Then, of course, we can't do what we want to do at work. It brings a whole lot of different, you could say, stress. But of course, a healthy element of that is great. But knowing your worth is really, really important. Now, I came out of uh, a bit of a situation lately at work and I am being treated, sadly, like a like a child, it feels like. Um, I am a professional. Uh, I'm a, I don't know if I can actually go into to what I actually do, but if we just say I am highly qualified in finance, um, but yet my opinion is often sought almost like that I am a high school student. It makes me feel like or I'm a young a young child. Um, it makes me feel almost like that I'm very undervalued, but yet actually it took me on a really, really low day having a word for myself saying, well, actually, do you know what, Bradley, you are a worthy member of this particular team you're in and you know what you're on about. You know where you want your life to go. And do you know what? If this isn't working right now, then this isn't this isn't the end of it. Do you know what? This is just the start of it. So it's me thinking to myself, do you know what? There are situations where no matter what age you are, whether you're young, whether you're older, if you're coming to the end of your career or whatever, jobs don't have necessarily anything to do with it. But if you're in a situation and somebody's treating you where you feel worthless or you feel like you're you're going through so much of this condescending sort of attitude, tone, when it's starting to almost make you question what you're going through in life, have a word with yourself. And I know this is very, very easy because honestly, you are worthy, you are worth it, and you deserve better than how people treat you if you are being made to feel like that, whether it's work, whether it's, it could be a relationship you're in, it could be a situation of friends, and if you're somebody like me who cannot say no, and always try to help everybody else, and always try to please everybody else, do you know, I'm quickly starting to realise that that cannot happen, you cannot please everybody, that is just a point in life, that is something which I am starting to realise at the age of 28 now in my life that, do you know what, if you keep continuing trying to please everybody and trying to put a smile on everybody's face at work or whatever situation you find yourself in, for me it's at work, then actually there is great detriment to where I want my life to be. Number one, I'm not moving forward. Number two, my career is not going where I want it to be. I'm in a grey role, but of course it is healthy to want to move forward. It is healthy to want to desire for more, for better to achieve greater things. That's that's what life is all about, isn't it? And there are so many opportunities there. But with me trying to please everybody and trying to sort of make everybody feel good about themselves, as so to speak, I'm actually really negatively affecting my own self. I'm negative, uh, kind of bringing all this negativity on myself. But yet, you know what? The one person who's doing it is me. I'm doing it to myself because I am not realising my own worth. So if you're in a situation like me and you're sat there thinking, do you know what? That sounds exactly like me. Do you know what? Even if, and I realised this after taking a few days leave, and of course I'm basing this on work, but if you're not and you're in a different situation and you're thinking, this it's not, is it easy for me to get out of the situation what I'm of course describing here? Take time to kind of restock because that is healthy, number one. Of course, we've got the Easter holidays coming up. Whenever you're watching this, it could be in a year's time, it could be in six months' time. I'm sure there will be some sort of time for you to be able to kind of take stock, to be able to review and just think. And do you know what? The best time to do this, I find, is when you're alone with your thoughts. And do you know what? Write them down because very often you can start to question yourself and you can start to question, are you the problem? And actually, yeah, there's an element of confidence and things in this, but honestly, there will be people in your life which are almost bringing pressure to you, which are almost keeping that, that self-worth 
almost in a box, and you don't need that. If you're going to get on this life, and you're going to be successful, which you are, by the way, already, because you've already started to think about these things, you need to open that. You need to open that, and you need to be free, and you need to think about yourself. So know your worth. And this extends to a lot of situations in life. And do you know what? Confidence, isn't it? If you're walking down the street, if you're walking down the street and you think to yourself, um, and for example, you get a look, or you may think to yourself, what was that look for from somebody? And then you may think to yourself, where did that come from? And you start to kind of doubt yourself. Do you know what? Forget all that rubbish. Absolutely forget that rubbish. Know your worth. Because do you know what? Number one, you're walking down the street. Looks, I mean, I'm not particularly great at the moment with my, um, I've had a, I've had some surgery about a year ago and I've done some damage to it. So I'm walking with quite a limp at the moment. And, um, I'm sorry, I keep doing this because I've got some hair across my face and it's really, really annoying. Um, but anyway, and I often get these looks and a couple of weeks ago when it started again, um, I thought to myself, God, you know, I just want to kind of run out of this situation, leave it. But now I, actually took a very slow walk venture and I, I took my mum out for lunch today and we had a, a really really lovely time and it was great it was really really great and I felt happy smiling and you know what? it was just nice and yeah there was one or two looks for how I was walking and I thought to myself you know what if these people aren't decent enough to actually stop and actually ask me a question or to actually say are you okay then I'm not interested and it's taken me a long time to get here I'm not interested because you know what? I am worthy I am worth it because I am a good person I try to do good in all every aspect of my life and I will help anybody and if those people don't think that that is enough or they have a judgment or they're a perception about me then that's their own problem so if you experience those things doesn't necessarily have to be so much as that or it could be more than that do you know what stop take take time to review and do you know what you are worth it and do you know what really really try to concentrate on that because at the end of the day those things don't matter. What you feel here in your family around you, what they think of you. And you know, you could do anything and they would still absolutely love you. You are worth it. So I really, really hope that that's giving you a little bit of a boost of self-esteem, of self-worth, because you know what? This life is far too difficult and far too short to concentrate on those things, which keep us in that box. And you know what? Life is not about putting in boxes and then on shelves. It's about spontaneity. It's about getting out there and doing things. So yeah, know your worth. Okay, my love and best wishes. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.